This is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim, March 6th, 2019. And I'm going to hand this right over to Miss Vegas to hand us the watch list. All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. And hopefully you were able to survive this uh, market uh, pretty red out there once again. So let's just talk about some of these ideas. And, you know, on days where it's, you know, not hard, not as easy to find a lot of day trades, at least we try to give you some good ideas for potential swings that you may like. Once again, you know, we're not licensed advisors. Nothing we talk about is uh, you're not, you know, you don't need to buy anything. That's just for educational purposes. And please always do your own due diligence. Um, okay, so the first one we're going to talk about will be BPTH. We're going to talk about CHMA. I want to follow through on that swing idea. We're going to talk about VHC, BRMD, and I want to talk to you guys about SID called SID. So the first one we're going to talk about is BPTH, and this is called Biopath Holdings, Inc. You know, we've talked about this company in the past. Um, you know, they're a company that develops um, DNA. Uh, they call it dna -balize which uh, is a, tech, a drug delivery technology, and uh, it's intended to protect the DNA from being destroyed. So they did announce a clinical update uh, that was previously reported from the phase two trial. And uh, obviously the market was very happy with the news. And as a result, BPTH had a nice run. I mean, if you guys remember this actual stock not too long ago was under five bucks. So it's amazing. Um, I mean, where I mean, where was it yesterday, Jim? I think yesterday it closed at uh, under five bucks, like four sixty one. Oh yeah, 460, it was like four thirty eight something. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it opened up this morning. That's uh, at the open um, market hours at uh, seven forty five because of the news and ran as high as fourteen sixty. I mean, this is just insane. Um, so I'm just going to turn it over right over to Jim, and he's just going to talk to us about what happened here and what's going on with this chart and what can we maybe see. This was definitely the play of the day. And I did say on our last time we talked about it that this thing could catch hold and run real well. It did run the first day, and it pulled back a couple days uh, after that. And then today that news came out and almost started right from that previous base high at 768. But actually, we opened up down here right around 694, right at the ringing of the bell. So I'm going to, and I just pulled up the year's chart there. So this thing really has a lot more room to run. But I think it got a little exhausted today, pulled back to that resistance level that we had right in here, which is right around 1190 something, 1170. And right now, after hours, it's at 1213. So let's check it out. We're going to pull up the 20, pull up the, uh, well, we'll pull up the five day first. This is when we had the initial breakout here. And we had a gradual pullback. I mean, this was a, a, a real good day. Then I tried to play it yesterday and I just couldn't couldn't get it right so I just left it alone and it did pull back and consolidate to this level right around 455 450 and then pre-market it hit that news hit and it just ran up and spiked up to about 639 so I'm going to pull up the day's chart here and I'm going to show you how interesting this play was we had a lot of different patterns going on with this stock we had a lot of different um, uh, the volume was consistent all day long we had real smooth pullbacks that weren't very deep, and that's what I appreciate about this trade today. But the spread was kind of bouncy because it's a very low float stock. And so we went down here from this level right down here, which was right about 482, somewhere around 476, and she took the breakout. When the market opened up, it opened up right around this 711, 7 something, pulled back to about 694, and hit that 100 SMA. And then she went ahead and respected the, the 20 almost most of the day today. Then when it disrespected it, it pulled back to my moving average of the 100 right here. And then she bounced up to resistance, pulled back, started creating a little channel in here. Hit that, again, that resistance at 1327. Then pulled back to this trend line that I had here at 1109. And I probably got that um, from, from this previous time right in here. <laughs> So she kind of went below the 200, but it held support at 11.09, and then went in a little channel there for a little while, and then started bouncing up again. We had an upward wedge. We had all kinds of uh, candles going on with this today. We had three black so uh, three black crows going on, three white soldiers. We had a uh, 
uh, what did I call that? I called it a pennant wedge breakout. We had, um, oh, there was a couple of other patterns that went on. Ascending triangles that took place. And every time you think it would dip, it would pop right back up. So here we are off of the good news from that phase two clinical trial. Plus it being such a very small float. It had share rotation today and many times. And right after hours, we're sitting here. I'm going to pull up the hour. We're sitting at 1234. And that's kind of a pivot point right there. And what I'd like to see is for this stock to pull back to this $11 area tomorrow, if it can, if it's able, and hold that support level. The first one's definitely going to be here right around 1172. Because we kind of hit a resistance right now. And I'm going to magnify it and show you what I'm talking about. But yeah, I mean, the chart pattern on this was just amazing today. And so she did pull back to that 1172. And that's where I'm going to call resist for support for tomorrow. I would like to see that no lower. And it looks like we're breaking out a little bit more after hours past that 1246 area. And I'm, all I can say is keep this one on watch. I called it out a couple of days ago and I said this thing can go higher. And today it did. It broke resistance. And I'm going to pull this five day up one more time and just kind of let you have a little look at it. But this trade was just beautiful today. How it run up on that 20 SMA on the five day, five minute, respected that 50. Now it's touching down up here. You see that 20 crawling down. So that telling me it might want to pull back a little bit. If it does, it's going to hit this support level right here at 1109. I don't want to see it go any lower than that. If it does knife, you could look at the previous high we had back in here, right around 836, 877 in that little channel right there. This is BPTH, and the next one we're going to talk about is CHMA. It's a continuation of the call we made yesterday. Miss Vegas? Okay. Yeah, so I just want to just, you know, follow up on these uh, ideas that we share uh, because, you know, Again, it's about helping people and also uh, people that can't trade all the time or that it's too stressful. So, you know, I've been talking about CHMA um, from a couple of days ago, actually from Monday. And I said it was a really good um, swing trade idea. You know, CHMA, uh, they're a pharmaceutical company. And, uh, you know, the weekly chart was just extremely bullish. And, you know, when I was talking about this stock, uh, I alerted, you know, when I shared the idea that, you know, you may want to take a look at, um, it was around four, it was $4 and 75 cents. And that was two days ago. And here we are two days later. And I don't know if any of you have traded this. I'd love to know if you did. Um, the stock is at 584 after hours and the stock ran beautifully today. And I will say that I'm still actually bullish on this actual stock. Uh, just because this keeps just, this just keeps making 52 week highs. And the volume is definitely not something that would come up on scanners because it's very low. Uh, it's moving at a nice, nice pace, which is what you like with the swing trade. It's going in the correct direction. If you are in the stock, definitely put in some stop losses, preserve those gains. Um, but definitely, I still see a, a continuation probably into the $6 range. And uh, we'll definitely uh, follow through tomorrow and see how, you know, how it behaves. But very pleased with the way it ran today, uh, ran over 10%, which is great. So if you were listening yesterday and you actually traded this today for yourself, um, you did well. So congratulations. And over to you, Jim, on the chart, because uh, I'd like to know if you think there's still an opportunity for, you know, where do you see the support and potential uh, continuation points? Well, we definitely broke out of a 52-week 50, <clears throat> high right here. She ran to 585. Let me, or she probably ran a little bit higher. Let's pull up the three year and see if we can go back any time on this. So yeah, <clears throat> back here it had some highs up here around 1338 with a support level right around 843, but there's a huge gap in there that needs to be filled. We did break out past the 52 week high right in here at this level, which I had a red line resistance and I'll pull up the, week, the yearly chart one more time. <clears throat> Now it's right here at 487. 
so it did break that resistance and the 52 week high was right down here at 423 so we did break up she did have a good run today and I'm gonna pull up the daily or let's pull up the 20 day she been on a good run over here since 330 all the way up to 584 and today was just a low crowd a small short what do you call that a uh, uncrowded trade uncrowded trade yes yes and we broke I mean, I'll just it. explain like uncrowded to me is just when the volume's not ma not major 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 volume I mean obviously over a hundred thousand it's over two hundred thousand shares today but it's certainly not even near half a million but you know what it doesn't care the buyers are there a lot of buying going on and um, you know it's it's in the, it's going in the right direction so we did break that resistance at 549 today it did kind of pull back a little bit yesterday to my little support area that I had down here at 525 but it didn't want to pull back to that it just kind of broke out from that that low right there and she bounced up and we got to break 585 tomorrow so let me pull up a one minute I'll pull up a three minute here I'm going to draw me a little support level right here, right around 572. And another one right in this area, right around the 559 area. Maybe right here at 556. So these are the support areas that I'm going to call out. The first one's right around 572 to 556. And if it depends, if it decides to go ahead and bounce up, we're going to have us another trade that'll probably bounce up about probably 20 cents maybe 30 cents from here see if we can get to that six dollar mark this is chma and we're definitely riding on that 20 sma so let's keep riding it and also sorry i wanted to mention that they are going to be at a conference yes um chma so um they're going to have actually a webcast presentation available uh, on March 11th at 2 10 p.m. They're attending the um, Cohen and Company 39th Annual Healthcare Conference. That's next week. So that might lead to some excitement on the stock, depending on what they're going to, you know, talk about um, and share. So anyways, keep this one on your watch for sure. And it's definitely, I'm really happy with how this one's turned out uh, over a dollar a share now in the last couple of days. Very, very nice. So yeah. congratulations. They're going to a couple, three conferences this month. The Barclays oh, wow. Global Healthcare. They're busy. The Barclays Global Healthcare Conference and then the Roth Capital Partners Annual Roth Conference. Fireside well, Chat. They're... So they're going to keep very oh, busy wow. this month. That'll be good. Yeah, and that's probably what's good for the stock too. Making it run a little bit more. And sure. VHC's next. Okay, so VHC. This is called Vernet X. And hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but this company, um, about Vertnex. So they have a really interesting company. They're an internet security software company. And they have technology that's patented uh, to secure any type of real-time communication that goes through the internet, including 4G LTE security. And... Um, they also have uh, also groundbreaking technology and patents for all kinds of devices that they secure, including, you know, cloud services, um, people that have like, you know, connected home, connected cars, uh, anything that has to do even with like social services and engagement from the public, you know, with your banking, very similar to some of these other stocks I've talked about. This is another um, company that's in the same kind of space. Um, so this company here, uh, I do like it a lot. Uh, one of the things I just want to mention, so I was looking at the actual chart today because I was looking for some, you know, swing ideas uh, for people um, just because, again, it's, you know, sometimes difficult to find, you know, all these uh, active day trades. And sometimes you still have to find different kinds of trading opportunities to hopefully still generate some cash flow for yourself. And, you know, a good example of that was like CHMA. Um, but anyways, with VHC, the earnings on this company is March 15. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be next week. But in the meantime, I really did like uh, this actual stock for a swing trade. And the reason I liked it 
was that it had the inside day. I like that the Bollinger Bands are, you know, walking and starting to wake up. And the setup is just really nice. And, you know, I'm liking the uh, setup. That's, you know, in my opinion, what I like to call stress-free setup, you know. Um, so I alerted this one here at uh, $5.98. And it's moved up slightly from the alert. And it, the alert was very late in the day. Um, and there's still room here for the stock to go. Where do I see this going? I mean, I'd love to hear what Jim has to say, but I'd love to see this go towards seven and probably more. Uh, max, maybe eight. That's a little stretch. Um, I'm just saying that's one step at a time, obviously. So I'm going to turn it over to Jim to give me those little steps because I like to kind of plan out, you know, my trades. And everyone should be planning not only when they go in, but you should also have a plan of when are you going to get out, right? Yep. So Jim, over to you on that. Okay, well, this is the year's chart. I've been watching this for a couple of years now. We definitely had a nice little spot on the pullback at the end of the year when we had the uh, December sell-off. Would have been a great opportunity to recognize this trade. It was down here right around 239. And then uh, within probably about a week to 10 days, the thing bounced up to 644. And then she pulled on back. And this is, I mean, a beautiful little breakout run right here. Just look at that, how, you know, a couple weeks it ran up to 644, had a resistance at 633. So that's the resistance we got to break at 633. So now I'm going to pull up the uh, five day, 15 minute, take a look at it, see if I can draw me another trend line in here, which I see right in here. I'm going to put that in there and then I'm going to put this one right here. And I think that's going to be it. So if anything, I don't want to pull back more than $6. $6 to maybe the, maybe this resistance right here at 596 And then bounce on up. Break this resistance level that we hit today of 613 which I see right here. And run up to this 628 area, up to 633 And I'm going to look at the three-year chart on this real fast. See if I can find me another resistance got this set as a weekly so yeah she's talking about that eight dollars at three year high up here at 875 and the next resistance if we can break this six um we got 650 uh 654 and i see a 698 and then i see a big huge gap up there to that eight dollars another dollar bounce and then final resistance at 875 on a three-year chart so just by respecting the way it bounced here and pulled back just with three of these black crows in a week. See them three black crows and then we had three white soldiers and then another one right here. Kind of a consolidated candle. Let's see if we can break past that resistance of 654. And the next one we're going to talk about is CRMD. Okay, so you guys should be familiar with CRMD. This is Cormedics. You know, they're into the healthcare they're into the biotech sector and you know they do all the stuff with the, they're into the um intravenous uh sector where they have this um they can give treatment of infectious inflammatory diseases and uh the reason i like this actual uh idea also for a swing trade uh is that this actual stock is oversold and I mean, the earnings are coming up as well, just so you know, for the, com for the company on March 18. Um, so keep an eye for that. So we still have another couple of weeks, but I definitely like that it was oversold. I love that it had um, the, you know, range contraction and definitely looks like it's ready for its next move on uh, CRMD. Now, uh, it did have some activity a little bit today. Um, it's currently at like 177, and I did have uh, an alert that popped on my platform as well earlier in the day uh, towards the 180 mark, and very nice volume, like 2.89 million shares traded, and I still would like to see the stock have a continuation, and I'm hoping to hopefully see that tomorrow. I mean, today it opened at like 161, went as high as 184, which is nice. Um, but I'd like to see it continue potentially tomorrow as well. 
So I do like it for a swing trade. And uh, I'd like to hear what Jim has to say about the actual chart and what he sees. This one definitely respects the, uh, the, the history of the chart. I got a three-year chart I'm looking at right now. We got a real huge bull right here with, with kind of a pullback. Run back to that 20 SMA on the three years. So let's pull up the one year. Take a look at it. It's had a real nice trend line running up. Respected that trend line pretty good. Let me draw that out here for you real fast. From right down here to right about, oh, right about in there. So yeah, she didn't. She's held, held that trend line pretty good at that low support of 154. We did kind of pull back a little bit from this last run. Now she's bouncing back up. We got about a 181 here close on it, 177. Let me pull up a 20 day real fast, get a better picture of it. We had this high up here right around, oh, it was 265 area. So yeah, this could be a, a, a stock that wants to turn around stock. And what we want to do, we want to hit that first resistance which is right around this area of two dollars a little under two bucks 196 if we can break that somewhere around that 194 area if we can break that we can go up to the next resistances that i have on this chart and feel free to pause this uh video and write down these these um supports and resistances we have 203 211 216 225 and we can probably get up here to the year of the year of the 20 day high at 264 and I'm writing I got to change the tool here right here around 264 that's where I'm going to put it bam 265 so yeah this is on a on a, a pullback and it's today's of kind of the first day it actually had a nice little breakout I want to see it break this resistance here at the 196 level. And if we can break that, we can move on up the ladder. This is CRMD. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it for two fifty two definitely that two dollar level. If we can get to that two dollar level, two oh three, we can go ahead and start bouncing it on up. That's gonna be your it's gonna be your hard resistance right there. And then the last one we're gonna talk about is SID. Okay, Sid. <laughs> Sid sounds like a little kid, but Sid is a Brazilian stock. It's called Campania Sidurgica, and they also have a location in uh, Germany and in Portugal. And they're into so many things. I mean, they're into metal, they're into cement. Uh, very nice website. You, can, you know, if you'd like to check it out, yeah, um, feel free. Uh, but you know that they're into uh, steel and metals and um, very nice uh, company what they're doing but what I like about it the ni nicer than that is I really like the fact that it's making a 52 week high I also like the fact that um, you know the the actual setup on this chart I mean this to me uh, it's definitely 52 week high but um, it has a good opportunity here for a continuation. And so this stock does appeal to me. I, I also like, you know, the fact that the price point of the stock uh, closing around 392. And right now, even after hours, it's at 396. It had a nice little move today, very good volume, like 7.48 million shares, which is a lot. Um, so I'm looking for a continuation here. So Let's see what Jim has to say on that because this should be on your watch list. And then, you know, you can keep an eye and see if it's going to warrant you taking a, an idea for a trade for yourself. Yeah, this is one of our beautiful breakout stocks again, as you can tell, especially here in the last couple of weeks. This thing's really skyrocketed. We had a resistance level down here right around 273, somewhere in this 275 area. And then we had this top right here, which is right around 296 three bucks and then she had that breakout from that resistance level down here and she bounced on up straight up to uh man that's a beautiful beautiful run here let me look at the three years see if we can find any other resistance oh yeah on the three year we're getting up there to the top so what we want to do we want to if this pulls back any i'll look at that in a second but we want to try to get it up to this resistance level of four dollars 
and we're at 392 right now and the other one's right here at 20, 424 and then we'll be looking at a three-year breakout and that seems beautiful to me so let's go back to a five day five minute good weekly chart you can see the trend line that's gone up we did kind of pull back here this morning back to the, one of the previous highs which is really a real strong support you see what I'm talking about from right here to right here we had that pull up and it pulled back and we had that so yeah this 369 is a real strong support if it decides to pull back now if it goes pull back the well, first support is going to be right here at 387 then we've got another one right in this area at 383 and I like to see no lower than the 380 so that's three different support levels 380 383 and 387 and if we can go ahead and break out of this 392 area I'll pull up the 20 day and see if I can show you the other resistances we got that 407 pull up the year the next one's going to be 407 so I gotta go back to the three year to find the next resistance so the next resistances on this chart will be 407 with a three-year breakout at 423. And this is SID, and I'm going to give you those supports one more time. Support level, I'll give you the two resistances at 407 and 423. Pullbacks are going to be 383, 387, and 392, which is going to be the breakout point. 380, 383. 3 and 387 and we got to break this 392 and that is SID great Miss Vegas all right well you know what this is your list for tomorrow this is you know I've kind of made sure to give uh, some good swing ideas again do your own due diligence yeah uh, and just so that you guys can have some things to look at when you're uh, trading on your own or if you're working and you don't have time to trade. I mean, these are some good setups here. So again, we thank you very much for your time. If you want to come to visit us in our free, uh, chat room for a free trial for two weeks, uh, please visit our website at www.ilovestocks.com and just register for the free trial and then you're in. So we'd love to meet you, love to see you. I'm meeting some fabulous people, fabulous women, I love it. Uh, just a reminder that uh, this Friday, is International Women's Day 2019. So I think the future is exciting. Definitely want to see a, a gender balanced world. And uh, I'd love to uh, be part of something that uh, everyone should be involved in. So thank you, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Jim, over to you. Jim, are you there? I don't know. I think I've lost Jim. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. <laughs> okay. Did well, you hear me talk the whole time? Yes, I did. Okay. We thought we lost you there. Well, I pushed the wrong button on my computer here. Oh, all right. You know, I'm not the sharpest okay. tool in the well, shed when it comes just to computer. saying good night to everybody. Yep. Well, this is the aftermarket report. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you can get our future updates. And have a great day. Today's date is... March the 6th, 2019, and we love stocks.